Um, they have a bit of experience. I'm pretty sure that uh, they beat D+, when uh, Shoemaker played the Ziggs in Game 3. Yeah, I think that was Azir. Aha! Right. Um, yeah, just just pick a pick an AD carry, I guess. Um, uh, fair enough, Trovi. Uh, fair enough. Uh, he's like, oh, that's a long-range mage? Well. Yeah, and also less range. They shouldn't be able to necessarily play in the neutral all that well, but it's Gen G, so who knows? Let's jump into the rift. That's uh, all right. Trevi now going to do the same thing where he just walks up this little pathway after warding and uh, just fights the enemy mid laner from uh, behind the, the the wave. Yeah, I mean, Bulldog has an empowered auto, so that's what he's got. Trevi's otherwise yep. going to win this song. Oh. He's going to find the uh, empowered auto attack because these minions are getting frustrating. Trevi using the barrier very early. Yeah, this looks like a pick that uh, Trevi is not that experienced on. Just based on that. But it's his 61st unique pick, so we'll let we'll, we'll, we'll it slide. It's the, uh, the Quantum Freaks vibe, you know, where they do like to do things a little bit differently is Deadly Flourish going to connect and Pei's going to have to cleanse pretty early on in this one. There it is. All right, two summoners down the heel expended as well by Lehens. Yeah, nicely done. Quantum actually holding on uh, to his Ignite as well. Now looking for a rotation over. A canyon going to discover him as Lahens comes in, finds the grand entrance, permafrost, and that's first blood. Oh man, all of that good work. Yeah, it's all just washed away now, and it's Canyon. And he had a lot of vision in the river. Let's see what happens when he doesn't have teleport and he has to come back to lane. Yeah, let's see whether Cuz is going to be able to get here in time as well to save this guy. As I don't think it's gonna happen. Permafrost comes down, he is hopping around, but. Slicing Maelstrom comes in. Cuz is going to look to try and get rid of Kane, and Mega oh Inferno Bomb's going to be able to lock it down. Who's the better Yordle? Right now, it is Bulldog. He is going to miss a whole bunch of his buttons, but that's fine. Quantum's moving over. Looking to try and help Trovi out. Bouncing Bomb going to be coming on through, but the Honey Fruit should be eaten here as Trovi just going to dash his way out. Nice little Extendo Beam. And uh, is now oh. running out of Mega Nar. Oh, it was so good until it. The Hens is pretty close to like being dead, but it's okay. The stun comes through. And now you've got Grubs that are attempting to be taken. True. Stiff stats. See, this is the worst thing I've seen from in a while. Yeah, Keen in a lot of trouble. I've seen this one before as well. As Mega Inferno Bomb comes down, avoids the drill. But now Mini Nar comes through. Oh, doo doo. Good sidestep. But that means that Keen will live. Canyon putting out a fire in the top lane. Yeah. Gets the demolish there as well as Quantum does make his way back. And now the ulti from Trovi. He's going for it, looking for the fight. He gets the slowdown with the Extendo Beam is now Bulldog. Well, he had at least forced Trovi to take a turret shot. It's looking a little bit dangerous, but both of them looking a little worse for wear. Should be fine on either well, side. Which is pretty important for him as a uh oh. Yep, Zenith Blade coming down here as Cuz moving in. Uses the uh, Steadfast Presence to speed himself up, and that means that he won't have that one to stop Lahens from being able to battle dance around, but just a little bit too far from the play. Anyway, the mid lane with the kill going over to the Ziggs. CS advantage. Um, Pays. Yeah, Captive Audience comes down as in goes Lahens, and this is not a 1v1 anymore. There's the curtain call as Leaper. He's just going to seal his own fate by pressing the R button. Yeah, there's a bit of an animation on that one, as everyone knows. And, yeah. Uh, that does allow Pays to guarantee the shot there, and this is going to be likely Dragon. Well, there is also a kill on a poppy angle, and that is going to come on through. So, as I was saying, um, this one's over. Because yeah, that yeah. first one slows him, and the second one is easy to follow up on. Yep. Uh, Dudu is also just dead as well. That's a solo kill for Kane. Yeah, I think we have to ban replays for the rest of the series. Yeah, for the play on to Dudu moments before. So, yeah, I mean, there, there was an angle. Um, speaking of angles. Well, there's a curtain call. Let's see whether Leaper can actually avoid all of this. And the answer is no. And I don't think anyone could have. That was just too many things that looked like they hurt flying towards the young Ezreal underneath the turret. Do you guys... Okay, hold on. Bulldog may also be... The assault does not actually connect there, as Quickness is going to help out. Um, Bulldog going to be flashing here as Jovi turns up. Mega Inferno Bomb might be able to line something up here, but not enough damage. The Ignite now ticking, but not actually going to result in anything at all. So that is just Bulldog being taken out as it well. Was. It feels like we're living that world a little bit. We're not fully there, but we're kind of there. There's also sort of, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty stark when it's between these two teams. So I'll hold that thought. That is going to be Lahens getting punished, giving Leaper a kill here as well. That's actually a big deal as Kuz throws his buckler around, projectiles being traded. Ignore the fact that the top lane just exploded. Uh, Kane is gigantic. Yeah, that's a 
That's a first brick on a two kill cannon who is 30, 40, excuse me, CS up. Uh, Bulldog does not manage to find the uh, satchel, and so Chovy is just going to kill him and dies himself. Oh, 200 gold, the advantage for Bulldog on that play. There you go. Shut no down more gold. bounty. No more bounty. Yep, local gold comes Maybe in more. as well. He might also be able to get himself a kill. As W goes wide there from Leaper, but Quantum, I think, should be able to keep himself up. Yep, able to avoid the deadly flourish. That is certainly good. We get themselves out. Quickness comes in. Curtains have been called. That is a dead Leona. Swings the sword around, but otherwise not too much happening there as uh, Leaper going to take that last bullet. Now Canyon's here as well. And his pet uh, Rift Herald and Keen's down here. What's Keen doing here? As that's going to be a Glacial Prison connecting. There is also going to be an inner turret being taken down. Chovy also able to get topside here to deny the Gnar push. So, be, you know, something. Maybe uh, something back. But how many Yordles does it take to kill Chovy? It looks like three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need the uh, Tootsie Pop Owl or anything like that for this one. It's just it's very punishable. <laughs> uh, Bulldog. It's okay. He's like, I'm going to go for the kill mid. And. Still well, by comparison. Exactly. Oh, man. I know exactly where you're coming from. As Quickness comes on in, Lahan's throwing abilities around, doing some stuff. Deadly Flourish is going to miss. And Bulldog. Stuck between the base gates, and there is a good flash to get good stuff flash. out of the way, and it is a cloud soul. Oh, baby. You ever just get camped by a Rakan outside of your base? That's yeah. Right. The Jin follow-up, though, is so long range. It's so easy as Quantum. Oh, another Glacial Prison comes in, and that is going to be Quantum getting locked up. He is still Leona, so he does manage to tank for a while. Who didn't manage to tank for a while was Canyon, as Paze takes a little bit of a journey. The longest turret shot of all time. Bound to your way back into the game. Quantum is going forward. Yeah. Uh, Crucial Barrage also going to get a fair bit of value here as Heroic Charge into the wall. That is going to lock down Canyon. Aftershock not quite working, but takes a while to kill him as it's one for one. And the quickness value is revolting from Lahans. It's then just going to be an instant quadra kill for Chovy, who's just not able to get a Penta because Paze has to finish it off because Chovy was dead. So that's going to be the ace. And Pays and Keen left a lot. Well, we'll see how it happened. Is we're going to go back to exactly the same spot as Canyon once again going down low. Is this another replay? No. Am I in a replay? Le Hens only has a few seconds left for his cooldown, so he's waiting to, to make it a replay. Hold on. Just give oh, it got it, got it, got it. Okay, we'll give it a sec. As Keen is desperate to not make it a replay, he wants to be part of this one. As oh god, that was uh, that wasn't even a fourth shot. Yeah, that was I think a shuriken. Well, they could... Okay, that was very close. Uh, okay, that was also close, but let's see. Leaper, I think, might just be destined for death. He might. Um, Canyon going to be here as well, so it's not just Lehens. I think Lehens loses that 1v1. Pace is going to turn up, and that is a very, very dead Leaper. I have a hope that the... I'm going to watch this again. Oh, yeah, 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 we need this audio. Uh, listen to Chovy. Uh, specifically Chovy. Watch Chovy, hold on, ladies and Okay, so we can do this, we can do this. When does he start calling for Penta? Here we go. I'm considering what's happened in this Penta on Jin? Yeah. That's right, Quantum. Not going to be able to find too much. Pace just walks too fast. Rock Charge also not connecting as Mega Inferno Bomb not doing enough. Didn't hit the sweet spot as now Canyon able to reposition. Keen! Oh dear, he gets thrown back by the Gnar, but it's into the Poppy! And now it is Pace's turn to attempt a Penta, but it's not going to work out. The pesky Yordle is going to be able to deny it. Now the curtains have been called, and none of the bullets are going to connect. But that is fine, because Genji are just inside the enemy base. Yeah, this is looking like it's going to be a second inhibitor at worst case for Gen G. Looking like they might be able to get more as Pace hits that big shot on the turret. Yeah. Kobe still has ult. As Deadly Flourish Leaper is just executed. Quantum goes in to try and defend, but he was already dead as the Zenith Blade started going out. And now ne both Nexus turrets are going to be taken out. The Gatekeeper, Lahens here with a very large health bar, is going to just make sure that this Nexus is going to go down cleanly. And Gen G, um... They're really good. What, what are we up to now? 12 series to showcase it this season? Yeah. They are, with this win, going to Worlds. <laughs> they are, with this win, going to Playoffs, which was never in doubt for anyone. <laughs> no, not even a little but bit. But now it is 100% guaranteed. Mathematically confirmed. Uh, as... That's some Jin damage. I think it's okay I to be a Jin seen loader, you a know? A Jin damage bar? Like, I mean, over that's a thousand over 1,000 DPM. DPM as 
gin. As gin, yeah. 